Fraser Crossan from Derek Fraser Crossan Hypnotherapy and today I'm talking about mindsets and in particular positive mindsets and the power of positive thinking. It's a popular concept and sometimes can feel a little cliche but the physical and mental benefits of positive thinking have been demonstrated by multiple scientific studies. Positive thinking can give you more confidence, improve your mood and even reduce the likelihood of developing conditions such as hypertension or depression and other stress related disorders. All this sounds great but what does the power of positive thinking really mean? Well here are a few examples to show you how positive thinking really can affect your life. So the first thing is to start your day with positive affirmation. How you start the morning sets the tone for the rest of the day. Have you ever woken up late, panicked and then felt like nothing good happened the rest of the day? Instead of letting this dominate, you start your day with positive affirmations. Talk to yourself in the mirror, even if you feel silly, with statements like, well, today it's going to be a good day or I'm going to be really awesome today. You'll be amazed at how much your day improves. Secondly, you need to focus on the good things, however small that they are. Almost invariably, you're going to encounter obstacles throughout the day and there's no such thing as a perfect day. Well, why would there be? When you encounter such a challenge, focus on the benefits no matter how slight or unimportant they seem. For example, if you get stuck in the traffic, think about how you now have time to listen to the rest of your favourite podcast, for example. And try and find humour in bad situations. Allow yourself just to experience humour in even the darkest or the most trying of situations. Just remind yourself that this situation will invariably pass. And think of it perhaps as like a good story and say, say for instance you're laid off. Imagine the most absurd way you could spend your last day or the most ridiculous job you could pursue. Perhaps a, a kangaroo handler or a, a bubblegum sculptor for instance. And turn your failures into lessons. You aren't perfect, nobody's perfect, and you're going to make mistakes and experience failure in multiple contexts, at multiple jobs and with multiple people. Instead of focusing on how you failed, think about what you're going to do next time and turn that failure into a lesson, something you can learn from. Conceptualise this in concrete rules. For example, you could come up with three new rules for managing a project, for instance, as a result. And transform your negative self-talk into positive self-talk. Negative self-talk can creep up very easily and is often hard to notice. You might think, well, I'm so bad at this or I shouldn't have tried that. But these thoughts turn into internalised feelings and might cement your conceptions of yourself. When you catch yourself doing this, stop and replace those negative messages immediately with positive ones. For instance, once I get more practice, I'll be way better at this. I shouldn't have tried becomes that didn't work out as planned, but maybe next time it will. And you need to focus on the present. I'm not talking about the present, not today, not this hour only this exact moment. You might be getting chewed out by your boss for instance, but what in this moment is happening that really is so bad? Forget about the comment you made five minutes ago. In most situations you'll find it's not as bad as you imagine it to be. And find positive friends or mentors and even co-workers. When you start to surround yourself with positive people, you'll hear positive outlooks, positive stories and even positive affirmations. Their positive words will sink in and affect your own line of thinking, which then affects your words and similarly contributes to your day. Almost anybody in this situation can do things this way and feel much better about it. 
Well, I hope you've uh, gained some examples from this. Uh, as I say, my name's Derek Fraser Crossan from Derek Fraser Crossan Hypnotherapy. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Derek Fraser Crossan Hypnotherapy, and click the bell icon next to it so you'll get more updates from me in the future. Now, I really look forward to talking to you again in my next video. So, for me, Derek Fraser Crossan, it's goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.